What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another gameplay. This gameplay, of course, is gonna be round three of the $250,000 Ultimate Wild Card Tournament. This gameplay, we're gonna be playing Team Money 3301. If you are on Xbox, you know who that is. Trips tight end demon, trips tight end guru. One of the better players I played in Trips Tight End. And honestly, if you guys have defense, send it my way because I have no idea how to stop Trips Tight End. Whether it be my neighbor, whether it be spamming buttons, I have no idea how to stop Trips Tight End. Appreciate all the support. Like always, guys, we're going to try to get this daily grind going. As you can tell, I'm sounding a little sick. I'm not too sick, but I kind of do have like a little cold or just allergies, something like that. But you know, that's not going to stop me from making this video. So like if I do sound unclear, that's why. Forgive me, please. But you know, I feel like I should still get this video out. Without further ado, let's get into gameplay because this is a damn hell game that you're not going to want to miss. Stick to the end. See what happens. Guys, see right here. First play, we're going to be running this gun tag wide off. Looking for Keyshawn Johnson. Open on this crossing route. This is one of the best formations in Carolina playbook. I audible it to it a lot. I feel like I got to cut down my audibles to it or I got to find new plays out of it. And maybe you guys could help me. Let me know if you run this formation gun tight wide off. It's literally cheese. Think of it like audibling a bunch tight end out of Seattle playbook. So right here, we're going to run Z spot, open out route right there. And I'm not going to lie, I was playing very good offense uh, at this time of moment. This is like a week two, week or two back, week and a half back. And T-Money is a good player, but you know, his defense, every time I played him, I've been able to put up a decent amount of points. It's right here. I have bow kind of open, but we're gonna live for another down and throw it away. Right here, guys. We're gonna run double post, easy flat route right there. I gotta start running that more, man. I don't know why I went away from it, but those flat routes, especially to Kyle Pitts, are super OP. I like to journal right after my flat routes to get a couple more yards. Right here, same thing. Wheel route, uh, post, easy read. I, I missed the read earlier. It felt like like if I throw it early, I could throw it every time. After running the ball, getting like negative yards, he shot my uh, inside zone. We're deciding to run this play right here, and it's low-key, not really open. Tatton, I don't know, man. I don't know if it was open or not. Let me know what you guys think on that. I play very conservative down here. You know, it is what it is. Kicking three isn't bad, except in this year's game. If you get held to three, and your opponent is like pretty good on offense, you're going to be in for a long game. We are going to run double post i'm like you know what he hasn't been able to stop it too well let's try running it here see what we got and i have this flat route man and i get a bad animation try to journal at the end end up journaling out of bounds i should have probably ran down second down or even first down we're gonna have to settle for three i'll tell you what guys ever since noah won the tournament running trip side end a lot of people have been running this trip side end form it's right here we're gonna run a little cover six try to shoot the gap first play Bruh, we're not catching Bo. We actually do catch him at the end, but I mean, it's still a first yard run, 63 yards. That's the worst. And the thing about Dollar is it's so like prideful with his gap shoots. Obviously, that was my fault right there for not being able to shoot the gap. But damn, could I get a shed at least on the left side? Bo Jackson on a Jets steam team still is very fast at 95 speed. As right here, my opponent is going to actually audible the bunch. And he did this quite a few times in this game. We do play good defense, I want to say. He's going to end up hitting this flat late to the right side and score a touchdown so i mean that's the one issue of sending two you might not get a shed and i felt like i ran match right there the thing is though those flat routes sometimes the the purples just run away for some reason they run backwards they'll be guarding it for a second guarding it guarding it guarding it and then at the last second they'll just drift away he went down and what i think that was two plays and scored and we got to retaliate by getting seven ourselves oh man we got the squigglies now man no one likes the squigglies even the defense you know obviously you can't see it but like the defenders know how hard of a time it is when you have squigglies on offense the screen shaking i know you could turn it off and i have mine turned off but momentum man momentum can really affect you especially in tournament games when you're already feeling a little nervous he sends a blitz r1 is open Keyshawn johnson z spot flat is kind of covered so we're gonna end up hitting r1 right there Keyshawn johnson again slotomatic slot apprentice titan is low-key open I throw to the flat, get my yards. I didn't want to risk anything, but if I waited like a second or two, I want to say I definitely could have scored a tud right there. We are going to go back to the same play, guys. We decide to call hike with one second left and Derwin James gets there, man. What am I doing? I could have easily highballed that. I could have done so many things. I could have easily highballed that. I could have easily looked that off and looked another way, or I could have thrown it faster. But I was really scared that Ronnie Lott was going to go crazy. In reality, I could have thrown it super early, passed it to the outside, and it would have been a dot. That's the way it goes. You can't score in the red zone. You throw a pick, and you know, just like that, you're fighting for your life because he does get ball at half. If he gets any types of points right here, it's going to get a little scary for you, boy. First play, kind of a cage. He's going to end up throwing that ball away. The trip side end quarterback is either Dan Marino or Cunningham. 
no in between is right here the streak is wide open and i feel like i always give that up man like i don't know why or how but i always give that up at trips and the trips tight end quarterback is either dan marino or cunningham it's not like you know i'd rather play either or dan marino is super cheesy with conductor and getting quick hike whereas randall cunningham you really can't contain that dude it's right here look at him look at him look at him where is marcus may going he ends up getting like six yards on that when you're at reality marcus may should have been sent when you click R3 sometimes, it just doesn't work. You'll see a couple more Randall Cunningham scrambles here in a minute. I started mixing up running some 3-3-5 send 2. He does have post-ups, however, but 3-3-5 send 2 with some zone drops is decent defense. It's not really that great. Versus like a mediocre trips, like you could definitely get away with it. However, team money, the more the game went by, he started showing me, all right, this guy's not a mediocre trips. He knows what he's doing. He's going to motion out his running back. And I thought I was using it not even for a second. And he ends up getting a touchdown out of it. I felt like I was on it. And then I like took a second away off. And he ends up getting a seven off that. That was a great play design. And that's what I was talking about. There's no blitz threat in three through five. He was able to comfortably do that without having to worry about getting it screamed at. I go to my, you know, my trusted play. PA cross out of gun tight Y off. Like I said, I need a few more plays. And once I find those plays, this formation will be very, very viable for me. It's right here. Look at that, man. I threw it in route and got like 40 yards on that because of Robbie Rackag. We run the same play again. We had R1 open, but we ended up not making the read. We need seven right here, man. Six, you know, it is what it is if we get three, but seven is literally a necessity right here as right here, we're gonna have R1 open and we fight in that end zone. Good stuff by Keyshawn. I really did not want to be held at the one yard line. Thankfully for us, he got it done. This is definitely not a good situation for me, a great situation for my opponent because all he really needs is to hold this ball. Even if he doesn't get any points, as long as I don't have the lead at half, he'll be fine because he gets ball at half. You see me running a little bit of dollar. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna have to get trips D. I'm gonna have to find better trips D is right here. I'm gonna blitz the right side, get some decent pressure. And he's gonna make this, he's gonna make that read right there. It was open, but since he drifted far back in the pocket, he was not able to make the read or complete the pass, I should say. He goes to dollar, or excuse me, he goes to bunch. You know, I was kind of excited to see this. It's right there. We get some nice pressure. He had a good play. He had a couple things open. That dollar pressure sometimes can be overwhelming, especially, you know, if you not if you don't run bunch as your primary form. So right here, man, this is a huge play in the game. If we get the stop, man, I'm back in the game like I never left. But here we go, guys. Tight end post, wide receiver slant, pick one. And that was a guest read of hell, if you ask me. I obviously bit down on the slant, but I felt like the pressure was coming in and he just he just hit the tight end. So hard to guard both those things, especially with how the user is in this game. Last year, I would be able to bait the shit out of that play. This year, not so much. He's right here, he's gonna run Z-spot. We run match, great bag. He's end up gonna throw it away. And like I said, here he goes again in bunch. And you know, I felt like I'm happy when he does this. It's right here. I don't know what I'm doing with my user. He throws this all the way across the field. 100% should have been an interception. I run a little bit of cover six action. Honestly, great defense, man. Great defense, except for the fact that he is Randall Cunningham. And don't get me wrong, Dan Marino gets out of there, but damn, he got an extra 10 yards, I'd wanna say. I've been making him work a little bit more for his offensive possessions. The run is still kind of there, I can't lie. His run is kind of been towed in on me. Right here, I'm gonna end up trying to send the dogs. He's gonna send out his running back. He's gonna send out five. Great pressure. And he had a couple of things open, man. The pressure was amazing. The coverage, not so amazing. He's going to go back to the same play. And I kept giving up this damn wide receiver hitch. Terrible click on, terrible dive tackle. And future reference, when I play him, I'm going to have to just man that dude up or put him in a hard flat. And not to mention another thing is him audibling over and over and over again is definitely messing me up. It's right here. Great dot. Just a, a motion slant. Terrible user. Once more, wide receiver hitch is wide open. And this time we do get a good tackle. I don't know why he tried to truck. Short side trips to the left. He sends out five. No pressure, but we play good defense. And that's going to be half. He's going to go up seven, plus get the ball at half. There's a long half ahead of us. We're going to have to lock up and play some good D. It's right here. Once more, look at that flat. That flat is literally open every single play. What am I doing? We actually do play great defense. And he's going to have to throw a blind read. And he ends up throwing something questionable. I manned up Ed Reed. He playmaker the curl. I thought for sure he was going to throw the ball away. He ended up, you know, throwing that read. And it was a dot. You know, it was questionable, but it was a dot. And the next play, I don't get my hard flat off. At least I can say that I was playing better defense. The past two drives he's had have been very sweaty in comparison to the first two he's had. We send the pressure. 
and look at derwin james man not able to get back to the crosser that's why we have calvin at our user now that's why we use calvin cam those guys are insane derwin james he's fast but i just i just didn't like how we move calvin and cam will forever be my users i feel like because right here we are on cam chancellor this play and running the same type of defense match manning up the left side we finally shoot the gap look at that stat line man he could have been toting on us all game and he's starting manually to clock i don't know if you guys could tell every time he's letting it drip all the way down to like eight seven six five Right here, we're gonna try to send a little heat off the left side, end up making a max coverage. Right side is kind of contained. We finally, finally get a shed. We got a shed. I mean, he may have had that crosser open. I mean, it would have been a tough read, but like I said, he may have had that cross. Third and 18, I'm pretty content that he's gonna just end up getting held to three. I've seen people c convert in this scenario, but I feel like even if he gets to like a fourth and five, I feel like he's gonna kick three. So I'm happy. We could play kind of just like bend on break right here. And we honestly play pretty good defense once more, but the left side flat was open again. Down by 10, third quarter, minute 50 left. Thankfully for us, like I said, he's not the greatest opponent on defense. He's running a lot of just send three wide with like quarters. It's right here. We throw this and I don't know why this ball lofted or whatever it was. That post should have 100% been wide open. We get the fluky though. Pass interference. We're going to accept that, of course. And I still have double me too. So keep that in mind. I want to use this double me. I feel like it's so easy to get double me, man. And it works every single damn time, I feel like. It's right here. We are looking for Keyshawn. And, ooh, could I have thrown that, guys? Could I have thrown that? I think I could have thrown that, man. Throwing it on the run would have been a crazy dot. But we don't need to rush it. We don't need to risk it. We got plenty of downs right here and that could have been risky i kind of made a bad read right there i don't know if that was a five i don't i don't think a five should ever play that but that definitely looked a little scary i personally know like my opponent probably isn't throwing that it's right here kyle pitts fighting for us getting down to the three and right here we're gonna run fullback dive and kyle pitts fights for us all the way down and we're gonna be down by seven we're not gonna go for two right here just in case he goes down and gets three we can win by one point with a touchdown he's gonna start off running base and look at that man we're slowing that base all the way down now he's gonna tick this all the way down to the two uh the second what excuse me not the second quarter the fourth quarter as right here we play great defense again and look at that man we have been strapping all the way down running this dollar as right here he is just gonna hit us with a nasty seam streak man jamal adams we all know how i feel about that guy if you haven't go check out my twitter he sold really bad in one of these fnfs i played versus rag and i just don't like jamal adams he'll never see my field again i mean not there's not much he could have done right there but just in general, I just didn't like how he played for me. Dollar versus Bunch. Again, we send the heat and easy breed right there. I just couldn't stop this play. Maybe I should have just ran max coverage. Felt like, okay, you know what? This guy runs trips as his primary. He's going to audible the Bunch. I could just scream at him because he doesn't know how to run Bunch. He uh, was smart to start max protecting. It's right here. Tight end post. And that slant may have been open, but like, look at this. Can we please get a shed? Please, we need a shed right here. We had to go take matters in their own on. We had to take matters into our own hands. And this is the biggest possession of the game, man. He ends up getting seven. We're probably going to be knocked out. But, you know, we got to keep the faith, man. We just got to keep the faith. Stop. Shoot the run. It's right here. That's what we do. Huge gap shoot, man. Tremendous gap shoot. That kind of just made him a little shook. He ended up losing, what, like three yards on that, too? He has to definitely pass right here. Guys, so right here, I think I switched my hooks to five. Cam Chancellor and this vert hook is going to go crazy, man. Just peep him on the right side. We're going to use our Derwin James. Once more, we send the five-man heat. No one comes in free. He throws an ill-advised read. Cam Chancellor goes crazy. That's what I need. We couldn't stop him all game. We finally got to stop in the red zone. I don't know why he threw that. That's my mutt master. That was just not it. I know now I'm not giving him the ball back. I feel like I could play good defense, but not versus trips. We are going to try to take this whole clock. We, we just started toting, man. We started to and we noticed that Rundy was a little sweet, man. Six yards of pop, seven yards of pop. We definitely will take that any day of the week. Right here, big third and one. And we are going to make an easy read to Key Sean Johnson. We're going to try to spin. You know, we're thinking maybe we could bounce this out to the outside. But Dion comes in and tackles us, which isn't the worst thing at all. I could easily make this last possession or at least give him the ball back with very minimal time. Inside zone with a no huddle, the two minute warning glitch. And I didn't want to get the first right there, but it really doesn't matter too much. Third and down right there would have been clutch. But at the end of the day, I still had to get a touchdown right here. It was cool that I got those yards because... 15 yards out isn't really easy to get, especially with time ticking down. We're going to run flood, and Bo Jackson goes crazy for us. We spin. We get down all the way to the one. 
with 28 seconds this is probably the best case scenario this is how i wanted to play out from the beginning three yard line's fine the two yard line's fine even the one is like amazing anywhere besides like three yards out plus that's when it gets a little scary for me we're gonna run sneak and that's perfect man word of the wise if you run sneak sometimes you end up getting like stopped obviously don't run it for you like your run sneak is very inconsistent but you end up getting stopped and it's pretty much like a knee except you're not kneeing we end up sneaking again trying to take another time out but we end up scoring so we will take that any of the day of the week just know when you sneak go on conservative you're not trying to fumble 25 seconds one time out we got this in the bag i think that was a phenomenal drive 11 plays 95 yards three minutes 42 seconds and he's gonna have to go deep man i have my clouds on like 25 or 30 we're sending the pressure He's going to make an ill-advised read off his back foot. I mean, it was open, but he just got pressured. And just like that, we sneak, the, sneak away with a W. I felt like I played decent defense. I just couldn't get off the field. A couple of early stops in the red zone set us behind the whole game. Guys, if you enjoy that gameplay, leave, please leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you haven't. We've been stuck at their current subscriber count for a minute. I'm trying to get to 8K. I don't know about y'all. I'm trying to get to 9K. I don't know about y'all. I'm trying to get to 10K. I don't know about y'all. We got to get our numbers up. But I know I can't cheat the ground, so here we are, man. Even when I'm a little under the weather, we got you. Stay tuned in the next gameplay. We're going to be playing Joker, Kale, Tight, whatever that formation is called. That form is Demon. We're going to play him in this 250K tournament. I'll let you go on with your day. Much love, y'all. Appreciate it.